Happy All Star Day! Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Right about now. What's poppin' y'all? It's your man Cloud Boy Bells, and welcome to another edition of Wisco Sports. Today we are gonna be making our predictions for NBA All Star. Because today is the All Star game, as well as the fun, awesome events that come with it that are gonna be before the game. Um as a schedule, um obviously I'm just gonna go over um my predictions for, you know, the skills, the three-point, the slam dunk, and, of course, the game itself and who will win MVP. Um, it's just a fun video I like to make every year. Um, personally, it's always up in the air of what's going to happen and who's going to get it and blah, 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 blah. But um, it's, um, it's very upsetting a little bit because, you know... Um, we saw that, you know, a lot of people can't play. AD can't play. Devin Booker can't play. Uh, Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons are now questionable because they came in contact with COVID. And Kevin Durant, the captain, can't play himself. So, of course, he has Jason Tatum subbing in for him as a starter. <laughs> so, um, it's interesting on how it worked, but... Um, Giannis uh, got selected first overall by Team LeBron. And I'm kind of happy because the last two seasons, Giannis has not played with LeBron. And I obviously am happy to see them, Gian the Giannis that we see, the MVP Giannis that we see now, play with LeBron. It's actually going to be exciting. I really wanted to actually see this because before, I mean, LeBron was the, simply the go and then Giannis was like emerging. I mean, I remember his first All-Star game. I mean, he really went off and gave a performance. I mean, that's just clearly him. But in today's video, I'm just going to be making my predictions for who wins what and what will happen. So, and I hope you enjoy. Alright, so to start off, um, we got the skills challenge. Obviously, it's been around for years. Six and you they usually have a bunch of NBA players really go head-to-head -head and participate in a little obstacle course that, you know... And the winner ends up winning the trophy and money for charity. They're actually all doing stuff for charity. Um, all the six participants are actually representing um, ABCU schools and students for the selected state. Um, so um, that includes Tennessee, Mississippi, North Carolina, Texas, South Carolina, and Florida. So the participants, um, there are six of them. Uh, two of them obviously have a buy because of all-star appearances. So, um, the first round, the first round is going to be Devonda Sabonis versus Julius Randle. So it's really big men. <laughs> I mean, that's just kind of how it is. Um, I'm going to take Sabonis only because he what, had went all the way to the finals before. And he'll be facing Luka Doncic, who got the one by. Then Vucevic and Robert Covington will go at it. I'm definitely going to take Vucevic. I don't know how Robert Covington got in this. And he'll be facing Chris Paul. And then Vizovic and Chris Paul will go at it. Chris Paul will win that one. And then Luka Doncic and Sabonis will go at it. And I'm actually going to take Luka. Luka should win it this time. I don't know why he didn't win it last time, but he should. I'd love to see Luka Doncic and Chris Paul go at it. The winner, in my opinion, will be Chris Paul. Um, I just know he's a veteran. When he's wide open, he doesn't miss. Everybody knows that. I mean, seriously. Um, but yeah, that's exciting. But I'll take Chris Paul to win the skills challenge. Just feel like he's old enough and he can need, I don't know, he's well respected and blah, blah. Next up, we have right after the skills challenge, we have the three point. So it's uh, six competitors. Uh, obviously, they're all all stars because, you know, they pack, they couldn't really, whatever. Um, anyway, so originally Devin Booker, before his injury, was supposed to do this. Obviously, he can't. Now Mike Conley's replacing him. So anyways, the f six competitors are 
Jalen Brown, Mike Conley, Stephen Curry, Zach Levine, Donovan Mitchell, and Jason Tatum. Which is uh, interesting. Um, I know Stephen Curry can shoot. Everyone knows he can. Um, but he's always had pressure. The last cut, last time he did this, he was really pressured, and he just couldn't do it. Um, Conley, I don't know if he can. He's good, but he's not nothing. Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, they're good shooters. Donovan Mitchell is a good shooter, but he can't. I don't think he can really do three point contests. He's just that's not his thing. So in my opinion, believe it or not, even though he won the dunk contest, I'm actually going to take Zach Levine. I I believe in him enough to do this. Um, I think Zach Levine is, you know, he's emerged into a player that I never thought he could be. So that's a that's a great compliment. He should love that. And then next up, we got the slam dunk contest. Um, Cassius Stanley, Obi Toppin, and Anthony Simmons. Simons, or whatever you say his name. Um, Toppin, everyone expected him to be a huge deal this year in the NBA. Hasn't done much. I don't even know. Cassius Stanley doesn't even get any playing time. I don't even know he was on the Pacers. I don't even know. I think he's out of Duke, but I didn't even know that he was there. And then I know Simmons is that young dude from the Portland Trailblazers that is expected to be super good, but hasn't done anything. So honestly, these guys really just don't really seem to do anything. Uh, The three participants will also represent these schools. Um, As I said said in the last one, well, actually, no, these guys are going to represent it. Um, Simmons will represent Alabama State University. Cassius Stanley will, will... do the Charles Drew University of Medicine Science, and Obi Toppin will do York Colleges. The, the slam dunk champions and judges are Dominique Wilkins, Spud Webb, Josh Smith, Jason Richardson, and Dee Brown, because they're all from Atlanta. I don't know what to expect, but I feel like this is Toppin. Toppin should win it. I mean, he was an outstanding dunker. Personally, I'd love to see Anthony Edwards in this. He could kill all the... He would... If, if it was Anthony Edwards was added, I would absolutely pick Anthony Edwards. But I don't think... I don't. I haven't seen these guys ever really dunk. I just know Obi Toppin's a big dude that can really do a lot. I'm just going to assume he wins. If Simons and Cassius Stanley do something out of the ordinary and shock me, then yeah, maybe they'll be known for it. But I don't know. That's just basically it. So then finally, we got the All-Star game. Team LeBron versus Team KD. Where KD, Anthony Davis, Devin Booker are not playing. And now Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons are very questionable. Um, will we even have a game? We should. We'll still have a game, but will they play? Uh, that sucks. If, if Embiid is out for Team KD, I mean, already wins. Already won. I can't even not take Team LeBron. It's just unfair. I don't, KD just did not get... I don't know what it is, but LeBron got all the better of the people. He drafts Giannis, Steph Curry, Luka Doncic, Nikola Jokic, and Damian Lillard. That should just be enough to say he's a GM in the future. He'll be a GMing for a team in the future. Everybody knows it. How did he get all these good people? He knows what he's doing. And then Katie's just sitting there like, I'll pick Embiid. I'll pick Kyrie. I'll pick my teammates. That ain't, that, that ain't how you win. That, that's not how. That's not being a good general manager. You pick the best of the best. I don't know what he was doing. I really don't know. But it's really going to be unfair. LeBron's team is definitely going to win. I mean, I don't even need to go over this. <laughs> so stupid. But anyways... I want Giannis to win the MVP because, you know, he's Giannis. And then, you know, last year, Doncic didn't do much in the game. Um, Curry never really does anything. Nikola Jokic is a center, so I'm not expecting him to do much. Giannis really should have his momentum. If he really plays well, he'll win MVP. If LeBron plays well, it's definitely his. But I actually am going to be on a sleeper here. I'm actually going to be taking Damian Lillard to win it. I think Damian Lillard is going to drop, like, almost 40 points, and 
blow us all away. So I'm actually going to take Damian Lillard to win the All-Star MVP. Weirdly, I just have that feeling. So anyways, that's my video. So if you like what you see, comment below, subscribe, do all that. And of course, enjoy yourself today because it's a fine Sunday and everything is awesome. So anyways, um, Cloud Boy Bells, stay safe and be smart. And as always, fear the deer. We'll see you next time.